Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going back to basics. With Easter just around the corner, I thought it's a great time to revisit a perennial favorite, deviled eggs. Ne'er has an Easter gone by in my life that these were not on the table and ne'er should one ever again. Deviled eggs are just a classic. Everyone has their own way of making it and today I'm going to show you two ways that our family enjoys deviled eggs. I can't wait to show you how these all come together. Today we're going back to basics. Easter is right around the corner and nothing to me says Easter more than a deviled egg. These are on our Easter table every year and we enjoy them quite often throughout the summer. I hard boiled mine in a little egg cooker that I have. Sometimes I hard boil them in the pressure cooker, um, but you can do it the old fashioned way as well. I have a half a dozen. This is six eggs that I have cut in half. Obviously one got a little too, too done, but that's no worries. Um, and we're gonna take the yolks out of these and we're going to make deviled eggs two ways because when I make deviled eggs in my house, I have to make them two ways and that may be this, the situation in yours as well. I make them the way my mom made them, which is with mayonnaise and mustard and dry mustard and just a little bit of seasoning. And then I make them for Rick with Miracle Whip and sweet pickle relish. And I like them both ways, but we make them both ways and maybe you do too. Maybe you've never made a deviled egg before. Maybe you'd like to give it a try. I always think it's a great idea to go back to basics every now and then and revisit the old favorites. And I think it's time to do that. So hard boil some eggs or get you some hard boiled eggs at the deli. Most grocery store delis sell hard boiled eggs. You can get a dozen eggs already hard boiled sometimes in the egg section of your grocery store. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Deviled eggs are all about finesse less than measuring. So I have a little bit of mayonnaise. This is just regular mayonnaise for our, my version. I have a little bit of Miracle Whip for Rick's version. I have some regular yellow mustard out of the squeeze bottle for both kinds. And I have some dry mustard for both kinds because this adds tanginess because of the vinegar. This adds spiciness and heat and it also acts as a desiccant so it absorbs some of the moisture and makes the uh, the filling a little bit thicker and then this is for Rick's version it's just some sweet pickle relish use whatever kind is your favorite and then we got some salt some pepper and some onion powder that are gonna go in both kinds so all you do is you're just going to separate the yolk from the white into a bowl. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, six of my version and six of Rick's version. Now you can take your fork and mash the yolks. Some people put this through a mesh sieve. Some people use a cheese grater. You don't really need to do that. Just get a fork in there and mash them until they're nice and broken up. You want them pretty fine though. You don't want big clumps. That looks pretty good to me. Now, we're gonna start with, like I said, with my version, so we're gonna start with the mayonnaise. You never need as much mayonnaise as you think you need. So, I'm gonna start with that much, right? So that's about a tablespoon. And I'm also going to add about that much yellow mustard and about a teaspoon of dry mustard. Now. The dry mustard is entirely optional. You can make it without the dry mustard, but I'm telling you, to me, the dry mustard makes a huge difference. And that's how my mom always made it. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of salt. Remember, the mustard, the mayonnaise, already pretty salty-ish, so you don't need to add a ton. I'm gonna add some fine black pepper and I'm gonna add a little dash of onion powder, like quarter of a teaspoon, right? If you prefer, you can add some finely minced onion or even some onion that you run over a very fine grater. Then you're gonna get in here and you're gonna start mixing everything up. The secret here is you don't want it to be too loose. So that's why it's better to start with less wet ingredients 
than, than all of it. See, this has come out perfect to me. That's the perfect consistency for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the egg white halves. And now you're just going to, you can do this by putting it into a Ziploc bag and squeezing it in like a pastry bag style, or you can just use two spoons. And again, the trick here is put some in each egg and then go back and top them off so that everybody gets a somewhat even amount. All right, now let's make Rick's fancy kind. I'm um, just gonna go ahead and like we did before, gonna mash up our yolk in the same bowl. I didn't even wash it out because you know what? There's no need. That's why we made the plain kind for me first because I can mix the mayonnaise with the Miracle Whip, but I can't mix the Miracle Whip with the mayonnaise. So then we're gonna use Miracle Whip and I'm probably gonna go for, put just about enough in there. A Little bit of mustard, a little bit of mustard powder and about a half a teaspoon. And then a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less of the sweet pickle relish. And then we'll hit this again with some salt. We'll hit this with a little bit of black pepper. I prefer the fine ground for this. I keep both on hand. And then some onion powder. And then we're just gonna mix it all up. Now this one, because it has the pickle relish in it, does tend to be a little looser, but you can regulate that by adding, you know, a little bit less Miracle Whip or even a little less wet mustard but I think we got it just about right. And now all we have to do is fill up our egg halves. There's just a subtle difference color-wise. Well, we're gonna be able to differentiate because we're gonna fix that. There are a couple of ways you can do that. I'm gonna sprinkle my version, the one we made first, with some paprika. And for these, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of the pickle relish on the top so everybody knows that that's the sweeter version. Looks good to me. Well, there you have it. Our deviled eggs two ways. My classic have the paprika sprinkled on top and Rick's favorite has the sweet pickle relish dolloped on the top. You know, deviled eggs are such a personal thing. Everyone has their own way of making them. I had a friend in college whose mother used to make uh, deviled eggs with sour cream and softened cream cheese, and they were amazing. I wish I'd gotten the recipe, but you know, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you like to make your deviled eggs, or do you like deviled eggs? Maybe you've never had them before, and if you haven't, maybe it's time to give them a try. I hope that you enjoyed learning how we make deviled eggs two ways in our house. I hope you'll give them a try this Easter or whenever you want to, and I hope that you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.